Alright, welcome back, and today we are going to check out the next planet, which is called Aqualis. So, let's go. Obviously, you can tell by the name that it's going to be a water-themed planet. No, because it's going to be a lava-themed planet. And let's head in to this door. This song is catchy as fuck. Fuck your face, fish. Get out of my face, you stupid coconut bitch. And we got to give away Ah, fuck that shit. Anyway, so we're gonna head through here, and like I said, the theme is obviously water. We're gonna wanna blow this up here. We wanna go down here. And get you out of my face. There's also a very strong current under here, so be careful of that. See, we wouldn't be able to come through if we didn't break that bomb, so. And we also wanna blow up this little thing right here. Because that's going to create a door, and what is in this door? Why, it's new ability, and of course, it is Parasol, a great ability. Let's smash it with my umbrella. Alright, come on. You smash! Ah, oh, we got a fuse here, but don't worry, this fuse doesn't contain any kind of powers or anything. So, it's just a couple of one-ups and some goodies. But not really important. Not enough to warrant, you know, coming back for it. Now, of course, we've got these little air bubbles inside this stream of water. And as you're swimming through, you're going to basically get these shots of air that are going to kind of push you forward a little bit. Not like a current, but like as you're swimming, because it's not water, the momentum will change suddenly. And you'll sometimes get pushed forward a little bit just from your own momentum. I know that doesn't make much sense, but you just take my word for it. And so, we gotta just keep swimming through here. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. See what I mean, though, about how he just kind of gets shot forward? Ah, this room. Well, we have two doors here, actually. We're gonna head in here first. A Blade Knight, huh? And another Blade Knight. Gee, I wonder what we're getting. We gotta break on down here. Break it down! Get this maximum tomato because we gotta face a mini boss. And I'm gonna use copy ability because I want my suplex for this fight, just because. And I love suplex. And we'll stomp a mud hole in him and walk it dry. And that's hilarious. And we have the sword ability now. And I can just give you cutter because I don't know. May as well. And what should I take for myself? No, I'm gonna take Sword, because it's new, I may as well use it, right? Actually, Sword would be pretty useful for the boss, so... Do you know what? Fuck you, that ain't fair. Die. 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 Thank you. Now, you may be wondering where the other door is. Well, simply put, it's down here. And now we have our maze for the level. We have this water here, and there's these currents. And we're actually going to want to head up here, because we have another ability to get. And now once we head through the door, it's going to take us back to the beginning of the maze. So basically what you want to do is, you basically want to head as far as humanly possible. You know you're going the right way when you're still moving. So you, you basically just kind of want to have a feeling out process. Um, let's head up. Now, back down here, down here. And when you see this purple edge into the platform here, you know you've hit the right spot. And of course they give us some food, because we're about to fight the boss. And the boss is none other than... The Fatty Whale! Arr, she blows! Or if our sheep blows. Whatever. And I'm gonna use the sword here because I never really showed this off, but the sword has a great recoil. If you can manage to do it right, you can just bounce off of him a bunch of times and get a lot of shots in. And I'm doing terribly. I'll take the sword out again. Then I'll give it to you. I won't try to take myself. I'll take a sword also. And just kinda see when you when you hit him with a sword, you can just bounce off. 
they kind of fix that in Ultra, so you can't abuse it. But in this game, it's very abusable. That's why Sword is one of the best abilities when facing the losses. And there he goes! He's going down! And I'll take an ability, just because. But with that... Aqualus is done! Time to do a victory dance! There you go. And we put power back into the fountain. And next time, we will head to this planet and see what it does. But, uh, yeah. Until then, take care. Oh, by the way, tonight, the Legend of Zelda Marathon by Bonus Stage Marathons. Be there. I'll provide a link in the description. Anyway, I'm running out of time, so take care.